Want the tea on the must-have accessories for summer? Boo! You're in the right place. Keep on watching. <laughs>
every woman should own is going to be a neutral handbag, okay? You can go for whatever style that like, floats your boat, but I personally picked up this style of handbag um, late summer, early fall last year, and it has served me, okay? I decided to invest invest quote unquote i decided to spend a little bit more on this bag because it, i knew i was going to get a lot of use out of it and i wanted it to be durable sticking to simple classic shapes with minimal hardware will mean that you that you will get the most use this is a get the look for a very expensive designer bag so if you're interested in it it will be linked for you down below if you're looking for something a little bit more fun, you can definitely go for a neutral bag that's a little bit more trend led. And that is where this lobster style bag comes into play. I love this bag. It's just so easy. It's so light and it's a conversation piece. You know, there's it's architectural in shape, but it's very minimal. There's no crazy hardware happening here. It instantly elevates whatever you pair it with. Now during the summer, I tend to stick to my brown or my lighter neutrals just because I wear a lot of color and I find black to be a little harsh. However, if you wanna go for black, you can still go for black. You just wanna look for textures and formulations that are more on the summery side. So for example, this cl pouch clutch, very on trend for this summer 2020, it's a black bag, but because it's woven, that additional texture, this is a great option if you want to go with black. If you've been interested or been on the hunt for this um, pouch style bag and you know, weren't about to fork out like three grand, I will put a link, some great look for less options. This top is going to be included in the video I'm going to film right after this one, which is a haul video. Subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss it when that video goes live. So the next summer essential every woman should own is going to be a neutral colored barely there sandals. Like I've been saying this entire video, when you go for neutral and nudes, it really gives you some versatility. If you love color, you can pretty much pair a nude sandal or a neutral sandal with any color. If you love print, same there. If you're on a budget, I highly recommend a neutral color. It literally is a closet hack because then you don't have to have a rainbow colored shoe closet. Now for me, I opted for a pair of white sandals this season. Um, I also went for a square toe shape because that's very on trend for this season, but you can totally go for any neutral color, barely there sandal. There's just something about it, especially if you go for like a lacy one that's very sexy on the foot, but also very minimal. It doesn't really take away from your outfit. I did a whole video on shoe trends. So if you're looking for more information on that, I will put a link to that video down below. Now, you can't have summer without sunglasses. I personally think that sunglasses are a closet staple that every woman should own all year round. Now, sunglasses really have the ability to impact an outfit. The right pair of sunglasses would instantly elevate your look and the wrong pair will instantly date your look. So when in doubt, stick with the two classic styles that never really go out of style. And that is the Aviator and the Wayfarer. Ray-Ban makes great options in this category. They have a gazillion styles when it comes to aviators. However, if you want to have a little fun, a structured um, cat eye like this is very on trend for right now. You can also play around with the aviator trend by opting for like a tinted pair like I have right here. And then an everyday pair. I love these Koi sunglasses right here so you really don't have to spend a lot of money on sunglasses you can but you don't have to i love quay because it's like it's a midpoint it's like an entry level midpoint brand it's under a hundred dollars because you get great quality for the price 
One summer essential every woman should own that we haven't talked about yet is going to be a pair of white sneakers, okay? I love a good pair of white sneakers. To me, they're a must have all year round, but I think during the spring and summer months, they're definitely an anchor in your closet. They're perfect for those days in between manicures. They're perfect for when you just want comfort. Maybe you're running a lot of errands. Um, and they just, I love the fact that they can really add that sporty tomboy vibe to any outfit. I love the juxtaposition of, you know, pairing like a little very flirty dress or a very flirty skirt with a pair of sneakers like this. In the last couple of years, there's been a huge emergence in this sort of like luxury sneaker um, category, but honestly, you cannot go wrong with a pair of simple white Converse. I always end up repurchasing them. If you want them to last a little bit longer, opt for the leather pair um, or the faux leather pair. It's, um, it's not as like soft as the canvas in my opinion, but it's much easier to clean and keep for a longer period of time. We'll link the leather pair if you're really trying to get your cost per wear for the sneakers. The next summer essential every woman should own is going to be a straw hat. Whether you live by the beach, spend time at the pool, have vacations planned, Finger, <laughs> fingers crossed soon we will be allowed to go on vacation. You know, I was saying to myself like, okay, we can't leave the United States, but we can go to the warmer parts. However, as you guys can see what's going on in the news, the warmer parts ain't safe no more. So <laughs> um, whatever your plans are this summer and going into next year, you definitely need a straw hat. In my opinion, they're must have. And if you're like me, I didn't actually invest in a good straw hat until last year. And the reason why it took me so long to find a straw hat was because of my head, okay? Finding a good straw hat in a large size can definitely be a little bit of a feat, but I finally found a brand that sells from extra small to extra large. Um, when it comes to women hats, and that is the brand Brixton. I talk about this brand so much. This was like the biggest find, okay? Hats can be really expensive, especially if you like like lack of color or Gigi peep. But what I love about Brixton is that it gives you that customization so you can find a hat that actually fits your head, especially if you wear weaves and wigs like me. Um, but it's also priced below $100. Unlike those other brands, this is something that will be a classic in your wardrobe. You can pull out summer after summer after summer. So I personally believe that it's worth the investment. This one right here is well made. It's very pliable. I love that it has this little black trim going around it. I love the extra large brim. Um, I just love everything about it. Now, before I found a brand that actually sold hats in my size, one hack I had was to shop for hats in the men's section. It's hit or miss. A lot of times I felt like they lacked a little bit of that feminine edge, which is why I love Brixton. They make hats for both women and men, and I just would love to you know, find an on-trend style in my size. So, you know, big kudos to Brixton for remembering the rest of us. <laughs> All right, so bonus round. <laughs> Summer is all about accessories. It's too hot to really layer, especially today where it feels like 100 degrees. And so one accessory that most of us don't think about, okay, that really elevates our look is going to be gold accessories. Now it's it's all about <laughs> opposites. It's either you're going for really chunky with your gold or really dainty with your gold. And I like like substantial gold jewelry, chunky bracelets, chunky necklaces, chunky hoops. Just a, the addition and the mix and match between dainty and chunky will really help to, you know, bring your outfit up another level. Gold jewelry, I think, is a must have and an essential every woman should own all year round. So if you enjoyed this video and you got some style inspo as well as great tips and want to learn more about developing, improving, and elevating your personal style, 
all you have to do is subscribe now. When I'm not on the YouTubes, you can always find me on Instagram. I am on stories almost daily. Um, links to all of my socials will be down below. I am on Facebook, on TikTok, on Twitter, all the places. <laughs> if you have any questions about this hair, check out the link for the IGTV video where I share details about this hair and my most worn wigs under 30. If you found this video helpful and useful, make sure to hit that like button so I can continue to make more videos where I feature style tips and tricks. If you haven't seen part one yet, check it out here. And then check out this video for more summer styling tips. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Wait, wait, wait. If you're, if you're not new here, you know what's next. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be in the comments down below. Come join the conversation.